Needham penetrating, dishing for the hot Ivanovic. And he's got six! <laughs> and look at him. The second most wins in school history for the men's team. The women's team ended up with its first ever win in a postseason tournament. Allen's back to Florida, a teardrop, no good. Rebound tip loose on the floor, and that will do it. And Fairfield holds on. They defeat first place Marist. A highlight, that win over the conference's top team, Marist. A televised game that catapulted the Stags to a nine-game win streak all the way to the tournament championship game where they came up short against that same Marist team but they qualified for the inaugural Women's Basketball Invitational, where the Stags beat Towson to reach the 20-win milestone. Stephanie Guillen reached her own milestone. She earned the conference's Defensive Player of the Year award. Trying the baseline drive pass. Oh, beautiful pass, but a better block there by Pina Johnson to get it to Needham, drive the other end, hits the shot, and it counts. Anthony Johnson took home the same hardware when the men were honored. This is something very important to me because I take pride in my defense. In fact, three Stags won major awards. Johnson, Mike Ivanovich won the best six-man honor, and Derek Needham won freshman of the year. The Stags nearly earned their way into the NCAA tournament, had a lead over top-seeded Siena in the MAC tournament championship game, but lost in overtime. It set up, though, one of the most exciting games in NCAA history when the Stags made the collegeinsiders.com postseason tournament. George Mason built up a 27-point lead with 16 minutes to go. Ivanovic fired back with eight second-half three-pointers, nine total, including the one that tied the game right before the buzzer. From the baseline, Pina looking, tossing up top to Needham. Nine seconds, Needham. They're going to play for the tie. Five seconds, Needham on top. Needham gets for Ivanovic. A three for the tie. It's good! From there, the Stags won the game in overtime, gaining their 23rd win and completing the biggest comeback in NCAA postseason history. I remember telling somebody the first year, I said, we're going to be able to tell people, like our grandkids, that we were on Coach Cooley's first team. You know, like we helped him build who he is. And I, I think that's still true now that, you know, he's got something going here and it's, it's only going to get better, I think. And, you know, I'm proud to say I helped out with it.